everyone, welcome back to Our Road Attractions. It's Dina here. I hope you're doing so well and having a great day. It's Monday today, so I hope you're having a good Monday. Today we are going to react to Girlfriend Tricked Me Into Getting Per Pregnant. Oh dang. This is at Hodge Twins. This is by Asked Hodge Twins themselves. Um, this, I feel like this could be the worst scenario ever for anyone in life. Like, imagine, imagine like getting pregnant and telling your partner and they're like, well, hang about, well, let's just see what the story is first because I'm, I'm assuming she could have um, stopped taking the contraception, but we'll see. We'll see. Title of this email Tricked into getting her pregnant. Oh man, it's terrible. She yeah. tricked you in the cream pie. <laughs> I have a dilemma. You bet you do. I recently broke up my girl. Ex you need to cream pie more responsibly. I have a dilemma. I recently broke up with my ex-girlfriend of five years. We were actually oh, savage, five engaged years. to be married at one point, but I found out she cheated on me with a guy from my job, which was a friend of mine. Needless to say, he used to be a friend of mine. That is terrible. That is, that is like... All the girl, all the dudes she could have cheated on you with, she choose your fucking friend at the damn, at your job. Your homeboy. At the, at the, at the J-O-B, man. She let him... <laughs> the J-O-B, man. Inside. Now think about that. Now, now, yeah, let's analyze this, right? Let's analyze this for a moment. Show you how fucked up everything is, right? She not only didn't she, not only did she cheat on you, she found one of your closest friends, a person at the JOB, man, let him stick his phallus deep inside. JOB. He left the nuts hanging out, right? Right. Oh, and, and, and she she opened up her legs. There's why like this. Willingly. Yeah, she, she wanted him to go up and say. Legs was wide, and all you could see was the nuts hanging out. And you know she opened up them legs. You yeah. know you know what that means. He probably creamed by it. No. Oh, stop. She was wet. She wanted it. She wanted it, didn't she? Why would you ever ask for I advice really from these people? This girl. <laughs> I really love this girl. So after separating a couple of weeks, we worked it out. It really hurt me that she cheated on me, but it killed me that it was with a friend. Anyway, you know we what? worked it you out. I ain't never gonna get over that. Yeah. Maybe if it was somebody you didn't know over time, time heals all wounds. But yeah. you ain't never forget that shit. Anyway, wow. we worked it out and she said it was over with him and it was just sex and she did not love him. Just sex, she says. Oh, just sex. Well, what's wrong with sex with you? Huh? That makes it worse. Just sex? You just, she, it, it tells you right there. Yeah. She wanted to fuck him the, the day she put her eyes on him. The day she saw him, all she want was those nuts hanging out. That shit hurts. Oh, how they make it such a serious conversation fuck. like this. <laughs> Three months later, I noticed, okay, anyway, we worked it out and she said it was over with him and it was just sex and she did not love him. Three months later, I noticed she got a phone call on her cell and she started acting weird and she talked real quick and hung up. Later on, that is a red flag. Later yeah, time, is. man. Yeah. Red flag, man. Red flag. That's one of the red, reddest flags I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> later on, she left her phone lying around later that night and I noticed she still. Now, that was one of the stupidest things you could do right there. She's a dumbass, too. She's dumb as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> lying around later that night and I noticed she still talks to the guy she cheated on me with. That means he's still creepying that shit. That's what that means. If she's talking to him, that means she's getting cream pie burned. You ought to be furious, man. You ought to be so damn angry you're shaking. Needless to say... You should be seeing red right now. <laughs> needless to say, a big... Needless to say, a big argument ensued and I broke it off with her. After bothering me... You're a good man, man, because most dudes would have snapped her shit up real bad. You know that, right? No, they wouldn't. He's a you, good dude. You're a lot of dudes, man. You, it's, a, it's some bad dudes out there, man. I can tell this is a good dude, man, because a lot of, lot of dudes, they get physical with their women, man. They smack them and shit and punch them I'll just get off that topic. I'm just saying, yeah. man, you're a good dude, man. You just get have a hard to <laughs> Good for you. You didn't get locked After bothering me for two good weeks, telling me she loves me and misses me, I decided to have sex with her. I told her it was only sex, and we were not together. I knew oh. she was on birth control the whole time we had been together, oh, so I did not pull out. You know why she was on birth control, right? You know, right? 
Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so you're, <laughs> you're being creamed by a dude. Yeah. That's what that means. But after having sex, okay, I knew she was on birth con control the whole time we had been together, so I did not pull out. But after having sex, she tells me she had not taken it for a couple weeks now, and she that she bitch. was not ready to start a family with me. You ain't starting no family with that damn whore. <laughs> Better find you another damn woman. That's crazy as fuck. She she failed to mention to you yeah. that she was no longer on birth control. She let you go deep inside. She tricked you. And you cream pied it. Like you always did. Yeah, she tricked you. Because she knew she had messed up and yeah. to keep you from leaving, she jumped off that pill intentionally. Cause she knew you was gonna she was gonna get cream pied eventually. I can honestly okay. She um, knew that shit, man. She was um this woman is, not only is she manipulative, but she's methodical. Sneaky as fuck. Evil. Evil. Let me finish the email. I can, okay, it turns out she is now pregnant. I can honestly say I no longer oh want God. to be with this girl because she betrayed me. Now it feels like she tricked me into getting her pregnant. What can I do, please? There ain't shit you can do. Yeah, you're going to be stuck. You're you are, you going to be a proud fucking father is what you're going to do. Well, oh. Make them damn child support payments. I just got done with paying my child support. We get back in the shop, man. You got damn 18 See? years. See? Man, you're fucked. You are so fucked. She already showed a side to yeah. you that you knew you didn't you didn't you didn't want to have no part with for the rest of your life, right? Yeah. Dishonesty. Yeah. All that shit. Yeah. And then she betrayed you again yeah. by not taking the birth control and you cream pied it. Yeah. You shouldn't have cream pied it. You should have seen it coming. Yeah. You should have saw that shit coming, but you didn't. You said, fuck it, I'm going to go ahead and explode deep inside. Oh, but yeah, there's shit you can do, man. Um, yeah. You're fucked. You're going to be a fuck. I already said it, man. You're fucked. You are so fucked, man. It's not even funny. I mean, if you went to the dictionary and looked up fucked, your damn picture's right there, man. That's how fucked you are. <laughs> well, you're going to be a father, man. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, who sends advice to these people? Literally. Oh, they make me laugh. Um, that is just so savage. Like, I heard a story before of a girl that put ne like put a needle through the Comtom packets that they were using for like months because she wasn't falling pregnant. Obviously, she was using Comtoms beforehand. And uh, he didn't have a clue. And they fell pregnant and she was like, yeah, the condom must have failed. And it all come out in due course. Is that what they say? In due course? Imagine that! Imagine the scandals. Oh, why? Why are people so savage? Like, surely, like this is a different circumstance because obviously she's cheating on and all that rubbish. But like, you get like I just said, scenarios like that that happen. Surely, if you're gonna be with someone and you're trying to be with them and you've been with them for like five years, ten years, however bloody long, you should feel confident enough to say to them, "Look, I want to have a baby." You know, not fucking sneaking around putting those needles in packets. Like that's mad. Who does that? That is like psycho to me. Um, yeah, bit psycho. If you guys enjoyed this video today, make sure you smash that thumbs up button because it helps me out tons. If you're new to the channel, then please make sure you subscribe because I have so many more videos coming your way. A lot more of the Hodge Twins videos I have coming your way because you guys seem to love them. Also, um, you guys always are suggesting them, so just keep suggesting those down below and I'll make sure I put them on my list. Sometimes um, I don't actually see your comments straight away because we do get quite a few coming a day, so just make sure you keep commenting and I promise I'll see it eventually. Or get me on my social medias, which will be linked down below in my description, and you can get me on there. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.